Hello everybody, this is Buffy from Buffy's Flavorful Journey. Today I'm going to do a different kind of podcast. It's going to be a bit personal and I'm going to be asking you some questions. I want you to reflect on what I talk about as far as yourself. Basically going to be talking about legacy and life stories. And I'm going to ask some questions. First question I want to ask everyone and the one I ask myself is what is the legacy you want to leave behind? I thought about four big ones. One, that I love my family. Sometimes family is all you have in this world. You can have friends, they come and go. You know, I'm a pet lover, they come and go. But family, that's always been a constant in my life. Heck, I live with my brother and sister now. So top of the list is that I loved my family. Two, intelligence. I'm not saying I'm the smartest person ever, but I also don't think I'm the dumbest either. I'm fairly intelligent. I joke with people that know me that I'm dumber than all kind of boxes and bags of rocks, but I'm really not, and they know it. Um, so that's my second one, is that intelligent. Third, I love to bake. Cakes, cookies, a few pies here and there. And that is really surprising And I only started doing that during the pandemic back in 2020. So I've only been doing it for four years. By far, I'm not a professional baker. But I can tear up a cake mix cake. Oh, I can make a good one out of that. Homemade, I'm still learning. You know, made from scratch, I'm still learning. And four, I mentioned this a little earlier, I'm an animal lover. I grew up, I was a cat person, loved cats. And for goodness, over 20 years, I owned cats and dogs. Now, I'm a dog person. I have three dogs now. I have a German Shepherd mix, I have a Pit Bull mix, and I have a full-blooded Siberian Husky. Those are the last dogs I'm going to own. They're the last pets I'm going to own. I'm 54, and I'm just too old to keep up with them. So, it's bittersweet. Love them to death. Those are my kids. Those are my fur babies. But they're the last ones I'm going to own. Second question, what are the life lessons that you would like to tell young people? You know, what did you learn in your life that you would share with young people? That's a big one. For me, the first thing I will tell young people is you have to learn to love yourself. I think everything in life, any kind of success, personal, business, whatever, comes from loving yourself. You've got to do that. Second, never stop learning. Not just at work, but in your personal life as well. We all can stand to learn any and everything each and every day. I know that's old. I know it sounds like a cliche. When I was young, older people would tell me that. And it's like, I don't want to hear that crap. It's not crap. It's true. Never stop learning. Third, be careful who you become friends with. And I would suggest, this kind of goes with the second one, never stop learning. Try to get friends with smart people, people you can learn from, people maybe you can teach something to as well. Again, never stop learning and make friends with smart people. Next, never settle or never be satisfied. Always strive for more and to be a better version of yourself. Nobody's perfect. None of us will ever be perfect, but it doesn't hurt to keep trying to be the best version of yourself possible. We all have something we can improve on. And I'm not talking about physical looks or anything like that, but, you know, keep learning. As we said earlier, be more compassionate, care about your fellow man, care about the the earth. Heck, it's unfortunate, but we're killing the earth and we all know it. Um, What can we do? That's the question. Some people don't believe that there's global warming. Hmm. But just, you know, learn to be compassionate. Learn to be forgiving. That's a big one. I've got to work on that one. I'm not even going to lie. And just, again, try to be the best version of yourself possible. Next, get past the fear of what others think. Do you. If there's something you want to do, Do it. I'm talking about legal stuff. I'm not talking about anything illegal. For instance, YouTube. I'm an introvert. 
If somebody had to told me I'd be making YouTube videos or podcasts, man, I'd be like, no, that's not going to happen. I don't like being in front of the camera. And I still don't. I'm still uncomfortable doing it. And I think that's evident. But I'm doing it. And I don't care what others think. I'm having fun. I feel like I'm helping others. I've, I'm up to 200, over 200 subscribers. So there's somebody out there who likes the content I'm putting out. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So do you. Don't worry about what other people think. Just do you. And last one in this, get out of your own way. Do what you want to in life. It kind of goes with, you know, don't care about what other people think. Again, I'm doing YouTube. I never thought I'd be doing that. If it's something you want to do, again, I'm talking about legal activities now. Nothing that's going to hurt anybody, especially yourself. Try it. Don't leave this life and you're sitting there thinking, what if I'd done this? Or I should have done that. You have those regrets. You can't go back. So if there's something you want to do, do it. Now, third question, and this is a bit of a bonus. Would you go back to high school knowing what you know now? Me? No way, Jose. I hated high school. I was really busty, so I was teased by the boys. You know, they'd be making googly eyes, and uh, it was horrible. Um, I wasn't focused on my classes my freshman year. I ended up, and I'm not bragging, I'm just, you know, I'm a numbers person. I like numbers. I like stats. I ended up graduating sixth in my class. But I could have made a run for valedictorian or salutatorian if I'd even known anything about that. Because freshman year... I wouldn't go to class. I didn't study. I didn't do well in tests. I would just show up, take a test, you know. But the next three years after I learned about that and that they would post the top 10 students in the graduating class, yeah, I, I, you know, I settled down, did what I had to do. Now, I won't lie. Senior year, especially at last semester, I skipped a day every week and I would rotate it. Like one week I'd be skip on Monday, next week be Tuesday, week after that Wednesday, and so on. I just, ooh, I had to get out of there. It was so bad. My guidance counselor said, Buffy, I'm so glad you graduate because I think you drop out. I don't think you make another semester. He was right. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure if, if I wanted to go to college. And if I did, what was I going to study? You know, people thought I was so smart. I don't really think I was. I was in the public school system. I just regurgitated what was taught to me in class, took notes that was on the test, and I put what you told me on the test as my answer. I think anybody can do that, right? And I didn't love myself. I didn't start loving myself till I turned 50. But man, I'm 54 now, and life is life in. I'm going to tell you, I'm enjoying it. And if I'd known that, oh my goodness. The journey I've been on through my life, everything I've been through, because life's not easy. If anybody tells you that, they're lying. We all go through ups and downs. And it's what we learn from those ups and downs. It's how we handle ourselves. That's what life is all about. If you can figure out, well, how did I get here? How can I stay here as for as long as possible? And then when the same thing when you get to a down. What did I do to get here? What caused this? How can I avoid doing it? What can I learn from this? That is what life is all about. Well, quick, down and dirty. Three questions. Ask yourself those questions. Reflect on your life. I think it's important to do that. And let's go back and I'll tell you what they were, what the questions were. One, what is the legacy you want to leave behind? Two, what are, th what are life lessons you would tell young people? And then the bonus, would you go back to high school? Nah, not me. Thanks so much for watching, family. I appreciate you all. And if you're listening on the podcast, thank you so much for that as well. Please like this video and our podcast. Leave a comment. Let me know what some of your answers would be to those questions. Or if you even thought about it. And I'll see you in the next video and our podcast. Until then, I appreciate you all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Bye for now.